Hello, and welcome to Exile 3 Ruined World. This is a old-school RPG. It was released for Max in 1997, which was the same year that Final Fantasy VII came out, and a year before Baldur's Gate came out. It was made by Spiderweb Software, which is actually pretty much just one guy called Jeff Vogel. He's still around, still making indie games. And the situation with indie games and games in general has changed quite a bit since then. So I thought it would be interesting to give this a playthrough now and sort of see how it compares to newer stuff. Also, I played this a long time ago when I was younger, and I thought it was a pretty good game, but I never actually finished it. I got about, well, part of the way through the Golem quest, and... That's as far as I got, so this time this time I'm pretty much going to chain the game to the bedpost and whip it good. Metaphorically speaking, I mean. So, here's our party. We can move around with the number pad. We can look at stuff. You can use the mouse for things, but this game is very keyboard oriented. It's a lot faster to do stuff with the keyboard. Oh look, there's some pants. Sid Curtis can equip the pants. What do the pants do? The pants don't do anything, okay. Well, they're optional. Um, a piece of paper and a candle. If we use the piece of paper, here is a typical map of this game. Yes, I have this map here. It does not come with the game. You can see copyright 2002. This is a map of the overworld. Uh, if you actually want to get an in-game map, you have to find somebody, talk to them, figure out they have a map, buy the map, and then you'll get a hand-drawn map of one part of this. But, uh, well, let's not worry about that too much. Yes, here's our boss saying to come see him. Sounds good. This gray thing here, which I'm... I'll step on it. It's a special encounter node. If you step on it, something happens. This one just says we can rest in the beds, recover some HP. Well, we don't really need to do that. You can read signs. I'm not going to read all the text. There's too much text. You can pause the game and read stuff if you want to. We step out. The base is mostly empty because people haven't moved in yet. Get some food. Talk to the guy. What's your job? See, I can ask about these basic things here. I, you look at them when you first talk to them. You can ask their name and their job, see if you can buy or sell something. If you click on words, yeah, it goes to a different part of the conversation. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's not harass the servants too much. This is a training hall. Oh, these are going to be very useful actually. A stone mace and a stone club. You see, when you get levels you gain skill points, but you have to go to a training hall to actually use them. And you have to talk to a trainer and you can get your characters trained, but it also costs money. So here's our starting stats. This is a custom party. There's Sig Curtis, Zetha, Yamazaki, Sho, Alan Turing, and Varsuvius. You can see the highest stat is Strength. And our spellcasters have Priest spells or Mage spells. Seven is the max level. The reason for that is Strength gives you a little bit of extra health every time you level up. And these spells, the spell skills, they let you cast higher level sp spells, which we don't have yet. But if you start with them, you get a little bit of extra spell points. So eventually, it'll be good. But right now, our party is really weak. But that's okay, because the game gets a lot harder towards the end than it starts out. There's also uh, special attributes special characteristics. You can have uh, three races. There's humans, Nephilim, 
which are basically cat people, and the slith, the slith zerakai, which are lizard people. So I have some advantages with the different characters. Yamazaki is a human that that looks like a Nephilim, and Sho is a Nephilim that looks like a human, and Alan Turing is a slith. So the reason these maces and stone clubs are really useful is because Sig Curtis, all of his skill is in bashing weapons. So he's going to be much, much better off with these two weapons here than his uh, than his starting weapons, which are kind of kind of useless actually. Well, let's keep exploring the base. Oh, it's a cat. Hello, cat. What's your name? Um, can we buy something? No? Um, okay, goodbye cat. Magician's offices? Okay. Back outside, let's go see our boss. Nice chambers for officials. Okay. So there's a goblin outpost that we can go to to get some practice as a team. And then go explore the surface. Oh, the sooner we go out on the surface, the better, because everyone's waiting to see if it's safe to emerge. Wow. That's a heavy responsibility. I didn't realize we were so important. Okay, storage items. Let's see if we can find a map. Okay. Wow, check out that artwork. Well, okay. Uh, let's just drop this piece of paper. We don't need it. And... your job. You're doing research? Hmm. Empire tried to kill the dragons, but she was friends with him. Oh, okay. Having a little bit of a relationship with the captain on the side, huh? Well, let's go check out our supplies. And this is probably all junk. We don't even care about the shield or the bow and arrows. I'm not going to worry about selling everything. Um, let's just grab this broadsword and the helms. I uh, grabbed a shield. Well, that's okay. Um, yeah, let's just not care about those. Actually, no, we don't care. Um, is there anything in these? food that is not ours. So if we steal that, if we take that when it's not ours, the whole base will get mad at us. And since this is the starting area, the home base, that's really bad. But if nobody sees us, not a problem. There we go. Okay, you're you're a mage. We can talk to you later. Let's just uh ground primary barracks wipe feet of mold. It's your job. You provide rations? Oh okay. It's your job, you're the you're the commander. Okay. He's a little bit arrogant, I guess. Oh, you know what? Should go up here. Office of Exceptional Supplies. Give us allowances. Don't spend it all in one temple? Well, if we need to go to a temple, it'll probably be more than 25 gold. But, it's okay. 
and he has a special artifact. Request denied. Well, yeah, what did you expect, really? Can we steal this stuff? No. So, north gate to the surface. Who are you? Same person. Who are you? You do research. Your abilities? He can identify things. Okay. Identify all our stuff. Excellent. And we'll equip the armor. Equip the helm. Equip that. We will be dual wielding. Who are you? Oh, you don't want to talk to us. Excellent. Unspecified services. Hmm. What's your assignment? So our job is recon. You're the contact for the... The what? The others? But the... But they're waiting for, for us to... To see if it's safe. But we, we were... We were supposed to be special. I don't... Well... That's okay. We'll just... Uh, we'll go kill some goblins. That's... That's also important. Um... Okay, crossing a bridge. I should probably save the game more. That's also important. And the sign is important too because we don't have quest markers. We don't have a world map where all the towns are noted and our, we can see our position. We just have to follow signs sometimes. That's the kind of game this is. That's definitely something you don't see very much anymore is games where you're supposed to actually keep notes and follow directions to get to quests. Yes, goblin infestation. Bunch of goblins. Okay, well. Let's just uh, start casting buffs on our fighters. We're going to be doing this quite a bit. Blessing is very strong, very strong. It improves your damage, it reduces the damage you take, it gives you a better chance to hit, and it makes the enemies less likely to hit you. So, all in all, it's very, very, very good. So, we were standing ready, so we got a free preemptive attack when they moved into range. And we take out the goblin fighter. We can look at these and see what they're called. That's a goblin fighter, that's a goblin. The goblin fighters are a little bit tougher. Oh, and the bless... the blessings stack. So, you can cast several stacks of them and it's very effective. Um, run away from that other goblin with her spellcasters, I guess. Kill the goblin fighter. Yeah, we're doing fine. They can't even really hit us. These are very low level enemies. And now that the combat is done, we can easily gather all the stuff. Boots. Oh, okay. Might as well wear the boots. Wear the boots. And we're done. So here is a dungeon, it looks like. We can go in the dungeon. And I think I'll just end the episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.